In this lecture series, we are going to discuss the existence and uniqueness of hard matter. But before we do this, let us first recall a couple of notions from real analysis. Let X be a topological space, and mu be a Borel measure on X. For a Borel subset E of X, the measure mu is called outer regular. On this Borel subset E, if mu of E is the infimum of all the mu of U's, where U is the open subset covering E. And this measure mu is called inner regular on E if mu of E is the supremum of all the mu of k's, where k is a compact subset containing E. With outer and inner regularities, we are ready to introduce the notion of radon measures. A radon measure on the topological space X is a Borel measure satisfying the following three properties. First, it is finite on all compact sets. And second, it is outer regular on all Borel sets. And thirdly, it is inner regular on all open sets. So if a Borel measure satisfies the following three properties, then it is called a Radon measure. This is the first thing we want to recall. It should be covered in the first theory analysis in graduate mathematics. And now let us recall another notion from topological groups. A locally compact group G is a topological group whose topology is locally compact and Hausdorff. So strictly speaking, we should call a locally compact group a locally compact Hausdorff group. However, in literature, the Hausdorffness is often omitted. When people talk about locally compact groups, they really mean locally compact and Hausdorff groups. This is something you want to be very careful about. With these preparations, we are ready to state and prove the theorem on the existence and uniqueness of hard measures. So this is a theorem and definition. Let G be a locally compact group. Remember, this means this topological group G is not only just locally compact, but also Hausdorff by convention. Then, there exists a non-zero left G invariant Radon measure mu on G. Here by left G invariant, we mean mu of x times e is equal to mu of e for any e 
a Borel subset of G and any element x in G. And this measure mu will be called the left invariant higher measure on G. And this is the existent part of this theorem. It turns out that higher measures on locally compact groups are unique up to a scalar multiple. Furthermore, mu is unique up to a scalar multiple. Namely, if mu and nu are both left invariant higher measures on G. Then, there exists a constant c greater than 0 such that mu is equal to c times nu. And this finishes the statement of this theorem. And now here is a brief history on this theorem. Actually, the existence and uniqueness part are due to two different mathematicians. The existence part was due to Har, and the year is 1933. And the uniqueness part was due to von Neumann, and the year is 1936. They proved the theorem under the additional hypothesis that G, this topological group G, is second countable. And later, in 1940, the theorem in full generality was proved by Weil. So this is a brief history about this theorem.